A dying language and the race to save it. Well, Naja Sherman shows the Potawatomi tribe's fight to preserve their culture. There is only one fluent speaker of the Potawatomi language on the reservation in Kansas. Her health is ailing. Now the tribe is doing everything it can to preserve its culture for future generations to come. Savoring every word Cecilia Jackson speaks. With pins in hand, tribe members are working tirelessly to learn their native language before it fades, along with its last fluent speaker, Cecilia. It's sad. It's sad that I am the last one. So how did it get to this point? Generations raised without a connection to their native tongue. Billy Matchy, a Potawatomi tribe member at the forefront of preserving the language, explains. I know talking to my mom. A lot of her peers were shipped to boarding schools and they were uh, forbidden to speak their language. We're supposed to be uh, a melting pot, but we're one of the few ethnic groups that are, weren't allowed to speak our language. Larry Berryhill of the tribe's Elder Resource Department says many of its members left the reservation at an early age, leaving the language behind to assimilate into the mainstream. If you lose your language, you lose part of your identity. For the first time in generations, small children like this group will be raised with a component of their culture that's been missing. Cecilia and the group teach classes on the Potawatomi language twice a day, breathing new life into a language once on the verge of extinction. Potawatomi is a musical language and it's very difficult to learn. There are about 500 members of the Potawatomi tribe living just outside of Topeka, Kansas. Naja Sherman, NBC Action News.